Rocket Tales. There's never ever 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 been a show like Rocket Tales. There's never ever 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 been a show like Rocket Tales. It's time for Robotales! Moses, the rocket Horeb, Amalek defeated, and the arrival at Mount Sinai. Exodus, Old Testament, chapters 17 to 19. So God commanded the people of Israel to leave the Egyptian desert and go to Rephidim, and upon arrival... There was no water. Moses, get over here. Moses, there's no water. Again. Water? We need Come on. Water. We need water to live, Moses. We have Why? this in Egypt. Why do you keep testing God? Well, there's no water again. Really? Isn't God going to help us? Hasn't God taken care of us so far? He'll do it again. Be patient. So God told Moses to take his staff and hit, strike the rock at Mount Horeb, and there would be water. So Moses did what he was told, and water gushed from the rock. And the Israelites were overjoyed with fresh water to drink. Water. <laughs> and Moses named this place Masa and Meribah, which means tempting Jehovah to slay us, and with argument and strife. But now the warriors of Amalek came to fight against the people of Israel at Rephidim. Moses instructed the Israelites that they were going to be ready to fight. All right, guys. I'm going to climb up on this rock and hold the staff of God in my hands and as long as I hold it up you guys are going to win over the Amalekites. So Joshua and his men went out to fight the army of Amalek. Meanwhile Moses went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up the rod in his hands Israel was winning. But whenever he rested his arms at his side the soldiers of Amalek were winning. Moses' arms finally became too tired to hold up the rod any longer. <laughs> Aaron and her saw, saw that Moses was having struggles and they rolled a stone for him to sit on and they stood on each side holding up his hands until sunset. As a result, Joshua and his troops crushed the army of Amalek, putting them to the sword. Moses, we're coming. Look, I brought her. You can sit. Yeah, come on, Moses. Let's sit down. I got you now. We're going to lift your hands up and help you hold up. Okay, we got Moses' hands up. We're going to win now. What's going on? We're losing. So God told Moses to build an altar so that the Israelites could remember forever how he helped them utterly blot out every trace of Amalek. So Moses built the altar there and called it Jehovah Nissus, which means Jehovah is my banner. So after three months of wandering in the desert, the Israelites finally made it safely to the base of Mount Sinai, where they decided to set camp. Hey Hi kids. kids, we're back. We missed you. Yes, we did. Hope you had a great week. Um, Miss Crystal, yet another lesson on Moses. Yeah, there was a, quite an interesting turn of events. There's a lot of different things that happened this week. Yes, we went from 
the water on the rock, and then the Israelites were complaining again. 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 You know, we, you would think that after they saw all those miracles performed in Egypt, yeah. water, manna, quail, everything they needed, they had, and yet they were not happy. And as soon as they had to wait for something, they started to complain and grumble. Impatient. Very. And this time they tempted the Lord when they said, is he not going to do something for us? So, um... They're, they're, I think they're forgetting. They were forgetting how good God was to them. Yeah, and it's probably not a good thing <clears> that <throat> it was called um, Masa Mirabah. No, it's not. It's probably not a good idea at all. <laughs> I wouldn't want the Lord to name something after me that I tempted him to, to, slay, to slay me. me. <laughs> no. And then what, with the fight between when Amalek and his army came to try to kill them. I thought it was really cool, though, how the battle was... It was like stuck on Moses' ability to be able to hold it up. Yes. So <clears throat> it kind of almost tells us like we can't do things on our own. Like sometimes people are there to help us, and you know, God puts people in our lives to be able to help us get through the battle. So don't forget that your friends and your family and everybody else is so important, and God put them there for you to be able to grow with in the Lord. Absolutely. If it wasn't for. The others coming along and helping him hold his arms up, the Israelites would have lost. That's right. So, so you're right. We need help at times, and, and God puts people in our lives for those occasions. Um, and then we finally got to Mount Sinai. Woohoo! Kids, do you know where this is going? Because you're going to have to tell me because I have no idea hmm. what we're doing next. Does anybody know what happened with Moses in Mount Sinai? One, two, three, four, five. I got ten fingers. Yeah, I got some ten fingers, ten too. Fingers. And, and, and ten, ten toes. toes. <gasps> Whoa. Mm. Sounds like ten's, ten's an important a number. good number for next week. Well, you guys hold on to it to yourselves, and then when you watch the next episode of Rofo Tales, and you comment on it, you let us know if you had it right the whole time. Yes. Okay, so uh, I think we should pray for our kiddos. Absolutely. Okay, do you want me to? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Dear Jesus, we just thank you for today, and we thank you for each and every one who is watching us. Lord, we, we can't wait till we can finally be back together face-to-face uh, -face and see all our, our uh, kids and, and their families back here together. And for those who we reach that may go to another church, Lord, we just... Continue to reach out and bless them. Uh, give the kids a, a good week as they're navigating through the, the school this year. I, it's difficult and, and different. And Lord, I just ask a, a special blessing for each one of them as they they have to learn to do things in a new way. Uh, be with them and, and, and keep them um, engaged as they try to, to work through this. In your name we ask. Amen. Amen. All right. Hmm. What are we forgetting? Allison. Allison, help us. Allison, this week. what time is it? What time is it? Jokes from the bucket. Oh, yes, yeah, there there the it is. Come on, come give us oh, a yeah, hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need some help. Yeah, we, we need more help. We need them. a lot of help. Lots of it. Right, kids? If you want to stand behind us, then we are, we are down to one joke in the bucket. Uh oh. You should send your jokes, Sauce. recommendations Great to Pastor P at pc at rcnas.org. We need jokes. Yeah. We got one left. Help us. Yep. Help us. We need more We're jokes. We're needy. That's right. Okay. Well, I will let you hold on to that. Miss Crystal, you're going to have to guess. You're going to have to help me. Or do you want to? Do you want to guess, Miss Diane? You're going to have to help Miss Diane. I'm really that. bad at guessing. Hmm. What do you think? Who should guess? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This week, it has to do with frogs. And I just happen to have a frog here. <laughs> he's really cute. He is. As long as he's well behaved. <laughs> he's okay. Fine. Now, Miss Crystal and those at home. And Allison. She, don't look. Yeah, no peeking. <laughs> All right. Um... What did one frog say to another? A uh, ribbit. No. 
That would be awful if that was the answer. <laughs> it is not ribbit. How what about? did one frog say to another frog? I had four flies for breakfast. Ah, you're getting close. Hmm. They had toast for breakfast. No. No. Hmm. Miss Allison. I'll catch you on the other side. No, but still very good. That's also close. Yeah. Well, let's see. They installed tongue and groove. Mm, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what did one frog say to the other? And he said, time's sure fun when you're having flies. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're right, Miss Allison. That was pretty nasty. That was. All right. Like I said, we need more jokes. Okay, now one more thing before we leave, the craft. Now, I, this craft, this craft is awesome. This yeah. craft is funny. I'll have to bring it close to the camera so you can get a look and see how funny this really is. Mm -hmm. And you'll have to tell me what is so terribly funny about this thing. All right, today's craft is, did you ever think what it would be like to be Moses? Yes. I did. Mm -hmm. um, especially today when he smacked the rock with his staff and water came flying out on it. And I'm like, how cool is that? And I'm like, I wonder what it would be like. Now I can't be Moses and strike a rock, but I can make myself look like Moses. Mm -hmm. So, the kind of. So today's craft is you to paint a picture or draw a picture of Moses striking the rock and make yourself Moses. I don't know if you can see this, but you have, if you can find a picture of yourself, cut your face out on a photo and paste it on your picture. So you too can be Moses. Yeah. And, or if you have a family pet, you could put their face on it. That would be funny too. You could do that. Um, just don't plunge your toilet to act like Moses and draw water from the rock. Good. So, this is the craft for this week. So, until next week, we love you. We love you. And we can't wait to see what that next lesson of Mount That's Sinai. Right. You, Sinai. Can read, you can read chapter 19 and chapter You can 20 read ahead. And see where we're heading. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Until next time. We love you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye, kids. Bye.